let's just go ahead and we're gonna shoot him for 50. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. What's going on everybody and welcome to another gameplay video. Guys, just before we jump into this, I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows I did post in our Discord. If you're not there, please go uh, join our Discord. We keep everybody kind of up to date there, but uh, unfortunately, because this is a bit of a shorter week, I had yesterday off and I took that as a bit of a vacation day. I'm also going out of town this weekend, which means I'm leaving Friday. I decided let's not force the challenge week. Let's go ahead and just push off the, the challenge week until next week, which means uh, for the majority of this week, we are just going to have general historic gameplay uh, just as a quick heads up for everybody. It's going to be a lot of fun regardless. Don't worry, but uh, nobody's going to be able to win anything this week. Unfortunately, if you do want to check out that challenge week, please go do so. Uh, we have had obviously videos last week go up on it. Uh, we also have some information in our discord and the challenge submissions channel. So please go check that out. Uh, we also just redid a good bit of our roles. Uh, thanks to our amazing moderator proxy the goat. So please go check that out. But Anyway, let's talk about today's deck because this really uh, just kind of caught my eye. It's a really interesting one. It's it's basically Golgari Citadel combo. Uh, so the idea is to get a Professor Onyx down, get Bolas's Citadel down, be able to play a bunch of instants and sorceries that each essentially gain us life. Uh, and you can tell they all cost two. And so they basically net zero. I mean, if we pay them for their cost, we net zero. Uh, and then the idea is to drain our opponent in that process or hit them with Aetherflux Reservoir if we have this out uh, and we gain life, of course, every time we play a card. So we've got some really interesting stuff here. Uh, the idea is obviously to ramp, uh, and as such, we do have Explorer in here. We also have Into the North, and we do run quite a number of Snowlands, so we can pull those out as well. We have Guy's Blessing to shuffle everything back in, Sign in Blood to draw some cards, Heartless Act to deal with stuff, Erebos' interve Intervention essentially to do the same, but also to exile cards from the graveyard as needed. Binding of the Old Gods, which is another way to ramp and destroy a permanence, are really, really helpful. And then, like I said, the rest of these are all basically combo pieces, so it's actually a really straightforward list. Uh, very curious to see how this goes, though. I think it could be really interesting. We do... I think I think we will hit a snag, but we'll we'll talk about that as we go along. It's going to be really interesting, guys. So we're going to send this through three games, see how it goes. Uh, just best of one games, just trying to see how it see how it pans out, uh, and hopefully have some fun along the way. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, guys, here we are for game number one, and uh, yeah, I mean this is an okay keep. It's not amazing, but we do have into the north, which is just going to allow us to pull out a land on turn two. And we've got some later plays as well, so let's go for it. Uh, this should be a turn three Reservoir, which is obviously a really good card to get down a bit early. It's going to gain us, hopefully, some incremental life as we go along. Uh, so very, very happy to see that. Uh, and then this end of the north should be able to ramp us a little. A uh, little worried about what the opponent might have. It looks like they are going to be on life gain. Uh, which is not a fun place to be, but we are going to get the swamp. We do need as much black as possible. Uh, in particular, not only for the Cabal Stronghold, but obviously for the Sign in Blood, for the Bolus of Citadel, all the good stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and throw this out there and we'll play that Aether, uh, Aether Flux Reservoir. Goodness, I cannot speak. I'm so sorry. Uh, and then we'll get the swamp down next turn. We do have double Reservoir, though, which is, I mean, kind of worth something to be brutally honest it's not like the best thing in the world but <laughs> it is something uh so the question becomes do we just play the other reservoir i think we do have a turn here so i'm gonna try it uh that gains us a life on its own and now we do have uh obviously double life gain which is kind of nice they're gonna banishing light one of these uh so very very happy we played the second one to be honest um and actually this turn we can just Bolus is Citadel if we'd like, uh, which I think we do. Get to gain a life this turn, that's great. Uh, let's Binding. Um, and I think we're gonna take out this. Uh, I guess we could have done that in reverse order, but that's actually okay. Uh, let's get this. Now, again, we're kind of back to full life gain territory. <laughs> uh, that was a really solid turn, actually. Uh, very happy to see that. Ooh, Lyra is very, very solid. Okay, they are at 27 life, so this is gonna be the turn that we kinda have to just go off. 
Uh, and unfortunately, okay, we do get some shuffles here. That's very, very helpful. Uh, let's go ahead and throw these both out there. Let's get you down. Uh, the sign and bloods do help quite a bit because it just means that we don't uh, just straight lose out to lands on top. Uh, so that's very good. Um, let's into the north. Gain us a little bit of life here as well. Let's get a land out. There's the Professor Onyx, which is huge, huge, huge. Uh, and now let's go ahead and sign and blood here. It's going to draw us some cards. Uh, perfect. We'll explore. Dude, I can't believe how well this is working. <laughs> uh, the explorers are really helpful as well, obviously, because uh, it does mean that we can play an extra land off the top of our deck, which we will need. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this, um, and we'll take another Professor Onyx just because. Uh, perfect. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll take out one of these. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, I love this already. Uh, and we can actually just finish them off here. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's just go ahead and we're going to shoot him for 50. Game. Wow, what a combo. All right. Strong start. Uh, that was game number one. That was really awesome. Let's go ahead and jump into game number two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is a keep. We've got the end of the north. We've also got Erebos's intervention, which is gonna be able to hopefully deal with any kind of early game pressure that we might have. Uh, not er Erebos's intervention is very good for this list for multiple reasons, not least among which it does gain us li the life as well. So we can deal with a creature, gain a couple life, uh, and that's really, really a strong way to kind of keep things moving forward. Uh, let's do this. We're gonna go ahead and into the north here, uh, and we are gonna fetch, again, really need to make sure that we've got that three black for the Bullis' Citadel. That is crucial, crucial, crucial for our game plan, and it looks like our opponent might be on a bit of a slower list. Ah, no, death touch list, okay. Uh, well, with that in mind, uh, the question becomes, what do we want to do? I think I'm just gonna throw out the uh, the, the Overgrown Tomb here. Uh, we get to leave up in Erebos's Intervention. This is instant speed, so that's not really a problem. Uh, what? <laughs> sure. Um, okay, interesting, interesting. Um, I am gonna go ahead and do this here. Uh, not that we necessarily have to, but uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna do this. Uh, this just keeps us a little bit further away uh, from from having any kind of major issues, which is obviously quite good. And I think we actually hold off on the Gaia's Blessing here. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've only got two cards in our graveyard anyway. I think I'm just going to hold off. Um, next turn, we do obviously have Citadel. Um, and then that really is going to kick us off in the right direction. We don't have any life gain yet. That's the only downside here. But... Uh, we might be able to pull something off the top here. I did not actually look at this. Uh, interesting. Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's play you. Let's play you. And there is the Aetherflux Reservoir, which is fantastic. Uh, and now, again, we're just in a much better p position. <laughs> uh, we can obviously Guy's Blessing to shuffle things back in. Uh, Vivian is great, but not gonna solve the issue here and theoretically theoretically we might be able to to take this one down here but we will see uh let's go ahead and get a trium there's another citadel uh i'm just gonna go ahead and kill this it's gonna gain us a little bit of life which is good um and i'm actually gonna guy's blessing uh the reason being i kind of want to get uh as many of these in our deck as possible. I also don't particularly want to play that Citadel. Um, all right, land off the top. That's not bad. Let's sign and blend. Uh, and here we're, we're on that life gain train now. Uh, so that's really, really solid. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, we can do this. You, I mean, it doesn't, it's just life gain at that point to be clear. Um, all right. Uh, there's another sign in blood. We can also Heartless Act, but I don't actually think we need to. Um, okay. Uh, there's an Explore. Dude, this deck is so sick. <laughs> uh, that allows us to play that off the top. 
Let's do this. We get to remove a counter here, which obviously isn't great, but it is something. Let's into the north. Ooh, I wish we could have kept that. Oh man, that would have been sick. Oh, we did. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, perfect. All right. Uh, turns out this deck is sick, guys. So, and there it is. We're doing it again. <laughs> Oh man, what a deck. What a deck. Okay, so that's another win. Game two is down. Let's see if we can get three for three. All right, guys, third and final game right now. Uh, this is not a very rampy hand. However, it does have quite a lot of sign in bloods. Uh, and we do. It's going to be tricky. We need we truthfully are going to need a black land off of the top here. Uh, and that was actually probably a wrong keep. We probably should have mulliganed. I'll be honest, I definitely was under the impression this is going to provide us with black and it does not. Uh, so crucial fact there. Um, but this does actually work in somewhat our favor where we can just kind of go ahead and get rid of this before they get a chance to play anything. It's going to keep them off of the life game plan, at least slowly off, off of the uh, life game plan. And really, truthfully, we just need a black land. If we can get a black land, we can sign in blood uh, till our heart is content. Oh, no. Oh, no, <laughs> it's happening. Bad keep on my end. Truthfully, just a terrible, terrible keep on my end. But that's OK. We're going to do the best we can. I believe in us. Uh, we have got all the removal in the world, uh, which isn't bad. Um, Especially given they have Heliod out, like, I'm not super opposed to just firing some of this stuff off here. Um, okay, uh, so what we are going to do is first get rid of you. And then next turn we can Heartless Act the Linden uh, so it doesn't gain any life. Oh no, we are just... No! <laughs> We are not getting any lands. Oh, this feels so bad. Oh, I can't believe I kept that. That was just such a mistake. Cabal Stronghold, Keynote, doesn't provide black, everybody. Uh, just so you know. <laughs> In case you thought it did, it does not. Um, all right. Yep. And the beatdown shall commence, everyone. The beatdown shall commence. Uh, unfortunately, I think we just we shot ourselves in the foot here, so that's okay. It is what it is. Wow, and there's Luris as well. Great, great start. Uh, what a great way to recover back from the removal. We Honestly, I will say, we had a wealth of removal in the beginning that really kept us in the game on the early turns. I was very surprised it lasted that long. Um, but obviously, it can't last forever. The, the Luris was such a good draw for them because it just allows them to replay all this stuff, which is killer, uh, honestly. And yeah, we are unfortunately just a little late to the party. Uh, we'll get that second black just in time to die. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? Honestly, I'm still happy with this deck. This is so sick. Uh, just a bad keep on my end. It's all good. Uh, opponent thinking about something, maybe? All right. Uh, also, their username is gross. That's disgusting. Um, anyway. All right. Uh, yeah. Um, I wish we could get the Citadel down this this coming turn, because then at least, I mean, it would be a very, very slim chance, but at least we had a chance. I'm going to go ahead and concede here, guys. There's no reason to, to keep this going. Let's go ahead and talk about this deck. All right, so what do we think of Golgari Citadel combo? Honestly, I really like it. Uh, I'm very, very happy with it. I think it went relatively well, aside from that third game, which was honestly my fault, not the deck's fault. Like, let's be very clear, that was just a bad keep, 100% on my end. But the first two games, we saw it work incredibly consistently and deal with the oppo opponent's stuff to be able to, to, to ramp into the Citadel uh, when it needed to. And just being able to hit Bolas' Citadel and then start playing the top of your deck consistently is ridiculously powerful. Obviously, we've seen different versions of these lists, so this is not the uh, the only version of the Citadel deck. There's plenty of others. Uh, but what's really special about this one is that Basically, it nets you life every single time, uh, thanks to either Professor Onyx or 
uh, Aetherflux Reservoir. And so because of that, it keeps you moving forward and churning through your deck and you're able to, as soon as you drop that Citadel, assuming you've got one of those two cards down or within just the top few cards of your deck, because again, you could play it off of the Citadel, uh, then you're definitely going to be able to keep yourself in the game. The only hiccup that I would have with it is the fact that, um, you know, if you do hit a land at the wrong time, you can certainly just whiff and be stuck. Uh, but I think at that point, you've probably at least played a few cards and there are built in mechanics to kind of keep that from being the biggest issue. Uh, we see things like Explorer uh, being able to sign in blood to draw a few cards. We've got some shuffle effects like there's a lot in here that kind of keeps that from happening. Uh, even Liliana or excuse me, Professor Onyx being able to uh, to look at the top three and kind of pull one of those cards out. It's just a way to filter the top of your deck. So lots of really powerful stuff i truthfully really enjoy this combo deck i'm gonna keep playing this one on the ladder for a little while just to see how it does but wow what a game what a deck thank you guys so much i really enjoyed uh playing this one i hope you guys enjoyed watching along and hanging out with me try this list please try this list it is worth the try uh but guys have a fantastic tuesday i love you all very much can't wait to talk to you guys again in the next gameplay video